So we're still in 2014 seeing that, uh, you know, it's, it's actually difficult to find a lot of value through data and there are a ton of reasons why this is the case. Um, there are organizational reasons, so we're still figuring out where the best places for your data scientists to sit, how you hire them, how you evaluate their work, what kinds of things you actually expect them to do and contribute to and who they need to be talking to you all the time. It's also still a challenge to know what process they should use and how they should integrate into what the rest of the business is doing. And we tend to see that uh, even today, a lot of data scientists are stuck in silos, given limited mandates, or um, you know, not uh, used to their full potential for reasons that have almost nothing to do with them. So when we talk about uh, the impact of these sorts of technologies on the economy, um, I mean, I'm an optimist, and so I'm, I find it really interesting, and I have a lot of hope for what the future looks like in the sense that um, data and digital technology gives us two capabilities we never had. The first one is to perceive things about human behavior, about the world, about the environment, either real or synthetic, that we're trying to understand that we could never perceive before and to understand before. Um, and the second is the ability to manipulate or affect that world in some new way. We are actually gaining new capabilities. And when I'm talking to kids, I say we're, we're gaining new superpowers. We have these abilities to do things in the world we never could. Um, and so I think out of those two things, we are at the beginning of a lot of interesting stuff that's going to happen in the next few years.